Uh, hello friends, in this video I'm going to do an excellence question uh, that was uh, in an NC exam uh, at a level 2 or year 12 calculus paper. This was an external exam. So let's uh, get started. Okay, what's the question? A courier firm has a restriction on the size of the parcels that will carry at a normal rate. Okay, that's not very important. What is important is from here. The sum of the length of the sum of the length, width, and the height of any parcel must be less than 162. This is again important. The length of the box is twice its <coughs> width. Okay. Find the maximum possible volume that the parcel can be carried at the normal rate. So we have got two information basically uh, that length plus width plus w so we can say okay l plus width plus h should be less than 162 the next the next information that we have is l has to be 2w and the word maximum is very important yeah what we're going to say is okay if it is less than 162 so let us say let it be equal to 162 Okay, because uh, you it has to be less than 162, so the maximum that it can go is up to 161.999. Okay, if it is 161.9999, any number nines, that's allowed. So you can say that is mathematically almost 162. Okay, so this is uh, this is these are the two conditions that we have, and you want to maximize volume. So this is a question of uh, calculus of maximization or optimization. So what are we doing now? So can we use this? So we're going to use this L. So let me rewrite. So what is that we've got? L plus W plus H is 162. In place of L, I can going to put, I'm going to put 2W. So this is 2W plus W plus H is equal to 162. So this becomes 3W plus H is 162, which implies H is 162 minus 3W. So if you if you have seen the way I have I've been working, I have expressed H the height in terms of width, that is W, we have already got L in terms of W. So I'm going to write volume with respect to W. Now this is a box. I Google this. So this is the courier box. So this is the length. Okay, I can say this is the length. This is the width. And this is the height. Okay. Okay, yeah, of course, uh, the length and the width looks alike. But uh, they seem to be equal. But uh, this courier box the length has to be twice its width. Okay, so the picture is not important. Uh, this doesn't match with the question, doesn't matter. So the volume is length times width times height. Okay, if you multiply length, width, and height, you get the volume. So that is L is, sorry, V is equal to L times W times H. Okay, so I can say, okay, well, therefore V is equal to 2w times w times 162 minus 3w okay so what will happen so i can say the therefore well this is equal to 2w squared times 162 minus 3w so let us expand this so this is equal to if you expand this this is uh, 160 times 2 is 324 w cube w squared sorry minus 6 w cube so this is volume as a function of width i have expressed that v that is the volume with respect to now in calculus you should be knowing that whenever you have the question of maximization or minimization the derivative has to be zero now what do i mean if you graph this, I will show you in a graphic calculator later on, 
this is a cubic equation so this may somewhat look uh, like like this okay i'll show the show you this in later on so this is say your v that's volume and this is your w so the question is we want to find this point where this is your maximum volume that you can get so this is what we are interested in at which width is your volume going to be maximum okay i'll show this graphically later on in the graphic calculator i know because if you are looking at a cube it looks it's a negative cube so it will go down up down okay so okay so maximum volume maximum volume volume when dv by dw is equal to zero now what what do i mean now if you draw it if you draw a tangent at this line the gradient would be the gradient of this line is zero okay if you take the gradient or the slope of this line is zero that's what i'm saying at maximum volume the gradient of the line the gradient at that point is zero okay therefore i can say 324 oh sorry so you're now to a different shade okay so uh, now dv by dw dv by dw when a different shade you know you drop the power down and decrease the power by one so when you 324 times 2 is 628w minus 18w squared okay so now you have to set this equal to zero now 628w minus 18w squared is equal to zero so what can you factor out you can factor out a w and what number goes in 628 and 18 okay by looking at these two numbers i can say when i add 6 plus 2 plus 8 this is a technique that you can be very helpful i know that is 18 so this number is divisible by 9 so if this 18 is divisible by 9 so this number has to be divisible by 9 okay i'll show you on a calculator so if you divide say 628 by 9 that will be a neat tidy number divide by 9 is 628 oh sorry this is wrong 6 plus 8 plus uh, this is wrong sorry so that's good to check 628 okay uh, did i do a mistake 648 isn't it yeah that's where that's that's where i went wrong it should be 648 okay so i was too confident so this is 648 w okay okay so if you multi add 6 plus 4 plus 8 that will give you 18. in my mind i was saying 648 but i was writing 628 okay you drop 620 600 300 times 2 is 624 times 2 is 48 so 648 so 648 is divisible by 9 so i'll show you that so 648 divided by 9 is 72 now this number is divisible by 9 and it's also divisible by 2 so it has to be divisible by 18 so i can factor out the 18 so 18 times what is 628 so i don't know that so i'll have to go get a calculator out and i'll go 648 divided by 18 that is 36 okay so i can say well this is 8 18 times 36 will give you 18w times 36 will give you 648w minus w is equal to 0. So uh, you can so now easily understand w has to be 0 or w is equal to 36. So this is the maximum width that the bag or uh, the parcel can have. So the question is what's the maximum volume? Okay, so we know now width cannot be now w has to be greater than 0 which implies w has to be 36 okay or you can say w has to be less than 36 okay okay that's not the point so l is 2 times w which is 72 and 
because L is 2W. That's the condition. And H is, what is H? H is 162 minus 3W. So 162 minus 3W is 162 minus 10. Okay, let me do a calculator. 162 minus minus 3 times W, which is 36, which is 54. So your height can only be 54. That's right. So your uh, minus, uh, okay, what's the answer? We got 54. So we can say the height has to be 54. This is centimeters. This is centimeters and this is also 54 centimeters. So your volume is 36 times 72 times 54. Okay, so let me get the calculator out. So uh, menu run 36 times 72 times 54, which is 139,968. So let me write that. So this is 139,968 centimeter cube. So that's the maximum volume that the box can have. Now I'll show you this on a calculator, how you can do and check your answer. So you should remember your function. This is your function. And we know that the maximum volume is 139,000. So you can say it's almost 140,000. So you have to adjust your scale appropriately. So menu, you go to your graph menu and type in the equation, which was 2x squared. Is that right? Time 162 minus 3x. W is replaced by x, that's all. Okay, oh, I didn't execute. So 2x squared times 162 minus 3x close the bracket and execute. Now to set the scale, so shift V window. I know the width has to be 36, so I'll go from X. On my X axis, I'm going to take the width. So I'm going to go from zero to say 70, okay? Anything more than 36 will do. Uh, say going a scale of 10, okay? Don't worry about the dot. Don't do anything in dots. So I'll go from zero to 140,000, okay, 40,000, scale of 10,000, and then draw the graph and see how it looks like, okay, can you see, this is, on this axis you've got the width, and this axis you've got the volume, so this is where, when the width is W, the volume is zero, okay, you can't have volume with zero width, so as you increase the width, the volume will keep increasing and this will reach the maximum at this point where the gradient is zero and then it will go down okay so the, again when you have uh, about whatever number this is you'll have again zero so how to check your answer you go g solve and I i'm interested at this point you go maximum type in f2 so that's your answer when x is 36 that is your width is 36 you get the maximum volume of 139,968. That's how you can check your answer. See you in the next video.